Both our founding fathers were in possession of a secret. A secret that, if revealed, would expose all the lies in American history. A secret that the members involved took a blood oath to keep hidden. What if all the evangelical and Christians in this country woke up and read the United States of America, Tripoloi, Treaty, Article 11? What is the real history behind the secret letter of George Washington? Why is America's oldest and unbroken treaty with Morocco of all countries? And who are the Moors? What is the mystery, the history, and the secret of the cherry tree? On December 25th, the lie ends where it began. George Washington and the secret of the cherry tree. Hi, I'm Bill Cox, and on behalf of More TV, I'd like to welcome you to the behind-the-scenes look of George Washington and the secret of the cherry tree. Get the people that are in the FEMA camps who have been uh, considered stateless. Mm -hmm. She is doing her best to find out how to get them back into their nationality so that they can have their rights as human beings. Okay, so is something in humanity going wrong in the future? Yes. Um, after the election. Ah, see. Yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> Look, I'm keeping all of this, by the way. Okay, all right. So let me ask you this: What was it like preparing for the role of Ruth? What was it like? Um, it was kind of stressful uh, because she's somewhat the opposite of who I am as a person. Um, I'm very soft-spoken, mm -hmm. nicely uh, fun type of person. She's more serious, um, more fierce, mm -hmm. and more brave. I feel she's really kind of courageous. Why do you feel her father has prepared her this way, made her so hardcore, as you say? I think her father knew that the people uh, would need it in the future based off of the way that the nation was moving when he was... So he was somewhat grooming her. Right, right. He was grooming her to prepare for the future so that she would be able to handle all the things that's thrown at her once he was gone. Wow. Okay. Uh, talk to us about um, the Freedom Fighters. Are you guys, you know, really close as you guys look on set and everything? Yeah, I mean, we've worked hard, really, we've worked really hard together for the past few months, mm -hmm. so we've all grown really close with each other. 
That's pretty awesome. What are some things that you can tell us about the future that's really awesome? Like, do people still call them cell phones? <laughs> um, they have their own little uh, way of getting around the, um, the blocks that the government has put on technology and things like that. Um, uh, the Freedom Fighters, they use uh, Nexus, um, one, of the, one of the technologies that the hackers use through the computers in mm -hmm. order to communicate around with all the other Freedom Fighters around the world. Awesome. It's kind of like off the grid? Right, right. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Them. Okay. All right, so um, in closing, what are some things that you want to share with people to inspire them to go out and watch the movie? Is this a movie that you yourself would go see? Yes, definitely. Uh, I would definitely go see the movie. I think it's a great um, thriller. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's very informative, but it's also a really interesting and fun movie to watch for the family. Yeah. All right, you guys are behind the scenes right now, day three. Okay, hit that Millie walk for us one more time for you to say. I'm Millie Rock on any block. Oh, oh. <laughs> Namaste. You know, pop up. Make him wait when he goes out there. One of the great things about the film that I know people are really going to be excited about is the, not just the time and energy that it took to make the film, but uh, the the trueness and staying original to the to the true script. When we originally had sent the script to uh, one of my fans in Hollywood, who's a director, um, we kind of just you know, hey, let's honest feedback, and um, he sent it back. He said the script was amazing. But, you know, it lacked a, a love story and creating a love story. And, and, you know, I thought about that for a few weeks. You know, do we want to really Hollywood the movie up and create a love scene? And and then it dawned on me from one of the more biases. She said, well, if you look at the film in its true essence, it is a love scene. And the love scene is symbolic between Rue and her love for her people and her nation. And ultimately, that, that gives rise to the story altogether. So the story takes place in the future, okay? And in this future, something has caused people to become stateless. And then so Ru is going on this journey and this adventure to try to figure out what has happened to her people. And this starts the dialogue between uh, Ru and her mission during the film. So that's one of the great things that I feel that we brought out about the film that we were able to really just kind of expand upon and um, it gives people some insight. But uh, one of the things that we wanted to do that was different from all the other documentaries out there with your hidden colors and all the other films is we wanted to have a storyboard. We wanted to get people the information but convey it in a sense to where this is something that the whole family can sit and watch and enjoy. So um, most people, uh, when uh, we showed the, uh, showed the film, pieces of the film to people, they were just so blown away. They was just like, the film was not what I expected it to be. And that's what we wanted. You know, we wanted to, uh, to shock people and give them different elements of different things. So the movie takes place in the future. Um, there's action. There's um, um, a bit of sci-fi in there. There's different pieces and everything. And then in watching it, people just totally forgot, like, okay, wow, even though this is a great movie, there's so much information that's being put out, and it's a documentary. So that that's kind of where, where you know, that stemmed from, that element of it. One of the first things people must understand about the cherry tree is that it doesn't have anything to do with the physical cherry tree itself. In fact, <clears throat> the cherry tree is a representation of... George Washington's and the Founding Fathers' Great Lie, a lie known in Freemasonry as the Great Masonic Secret. Western Freemasonry should never be confused with Masonry, as Masonry is an ancient science, tracing back to Amexum or Kemet, known today as Africa. One of the most accurate quotes outlining the nature of Western Freemasonry came from the sixth president of the United States of America, Mr. John Quincy Adams. He stated, and I quote, 
Freemasonry is deceptive and fraudulent. It promised a light. Its performance is darkness, end quote. Americans and individuals all over the world are bound to learn the truth. Each of the founding fathers were Masons who were brought into government and given access to private information known as the light in Masonry. The problem with the story of the cherry tree is the myth attached to it by the very people who created the story. Now, it is unproven whether or not Mason Lock Weems, also known as Parson Weems, was a Freemason. However, Weems was just a distraction from the real facilitator of the lie, Charles Thompson. Who is Charles Thompson? What is his connection to the cherry tree and the great lie? It is found that Thompson was a leader in the revolutionary crisis of the early 1770s. John Adams referred to him as the Samuel Adams of Philadelphia. Thompson also served as the Secretary of the Continental Congress throughout its existence. For 15 years, Thompson dedicated himself to recording the debates and the decisions of the Continental Congress. Along with John Hancock, President of the Congress, Thompson's name appeared on the very first published version of the Declaration of Independence in July of 1776. Now, when Charles Thomas was asked to speak on the truth of America and the Founding Fathers, he said, and I quote, No, I ought not, for I should contradict all the histories of the great events of the Revolution. Let the world admire the supposed wisdom and valor of our great men, end quote. One of Thomas's most famous quotes was recorded by a man named Dr. Benjamin Rush, where Thompson stated, and I quote, I shall not undeceive future generations, end quote. And that's cited in Rulers of Evil by F. Tupper Saucy on page 125. Thompson, in his own words, had canceled any future debates on this matter. He openly admits the American people have been deceived. This is the great lie and the beginning of the secret of the cherry tree. After a worldwide release of the movie, we plan to release a book of all the historical facts and records which were used in the making of this film. These historical findings and information will officially place the American truth back on the record. The lies that have been projected on the Asiatic American people have been preventing us from being one of the greatest nations in the world. This movie is here to set the record straight. The gods are back, the moors are strapped We waking up, and we want our land back Running off at the trap, you know them gods don't like that Waking up from a nap, like where the hell my crown at? Take a step back, like I know this body back
that's intimidation over there to me. And that's what this is. They everyday life, and they mad. Proof that the official police story is indeed a lie. Maybe for the cause proof. We are Meister International, a small but growing independent business that specializes in making luxury style watches for a reasonable price. Since we started Meister, it has been our dream to create a mechanical watch. There's something about automatic watches that make us marvel over their design and inner workings. After our visit to the biggest watch show in Basel, Switzerland, we became inspired. Unfortunately, due to the expensive cost of stocking automatic watches, we were never able to produce them in the traditional route. But now, with the rise of Indiegogo, we can sell the watches directly to you and cut out the middleman. Unlike most digital and quartz movements, the mechanical movements work without the use of any battery. Our designs are a reflection of what we're inspired by, introducing our two different timepieces, the Noble and the Speedster. Both watches are limited edition models and each watch is individually numbered. The Noble's design is based off of our two favorite watches in the collection, the MK3 and the Ambassador. Its polished edges and a clean but bold looking exterior combined with minimal design dial face displaying the 3D hour markers on a real carbon fiber plate. The Speedster is a larger watch inspired by our love of sports cars. Its exposed movement shows off the mechanical engine that runs the watch. The details on the dial face make you feel like you're looking into the gauges of a race car. We're so confident in our craftsmanship, the watches are backed by a three-year limited warranty. And we are preparing to have these watches shipped to everyone just in time for the holidays. With your support, together we can make our dreams a reality. Help us by spreading the word on social media, and thanks for watching. Peace and love. There's a quote from, uh, there's a quote that Rue uses in a movie that I wanted to touch on. It comes from um, Martin Luther King's I Had a Dream speech, where he says, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out its true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. So this great lie that we're learning about and coming in a knowledge of that America was built on is what has actually been preventing America from living out its true creed and its principle. And Ru takes a journey to uncover this great lie, okay? And this great lie is given rise by weak people. Weak people who feel that if this truth is ever revealed to the American people, that it will somehow um, change everything for the worse. When this couldn't be any further from the truth, it's actually this lie that has kept America from fulfilling its true purpose. So what we have to understand as Americans, as people who were, um, born here is we have to come into the knowledge of truth okay and when we start talking about truth we want to take all debates and conversations out of the out of play so when you start identifying people we have to understand nowhere in the world except america is this accepted and it's tolerated when you say black people white people well there's no, there there are no black people in in, in the world there are no white people Okay, you have to understand that people derive themselves from nations. They have nationality. So when I say China, you'll say Chinese. When I say Japan, you'll say Japanese. When I say Brazil, you'll say Brazilian. When I say Ireland, you say Irish. When I say Scotland, you say Scottish. And so on and so forth. Britain, Brit British. But when you get to black, then that's where the conversation ceases because there's nothing there to trace themselves to. And these are the platforms on which this nation was built for. This lie is wrapped up in this, this, this key of what they call the great Masonic secret, which is what all the founding fathers took this oath or agreed to cover up. 
So, and only through truth will we start to get back to living out the, the, the true creed and meaning of what America was intended to be. It is only through it is only through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice that we can ever hope to have any peace in this nation. And I strongly emphasize truth because the American people for the last 200 plus years have not been taught truth. We haven't been taught truth. Our history books are filled with lies about slavery, about, you know, Christopher Columbus discovering America. When every child in elementary will ask the question, well, how do you discover something where people already exist? And, and really breaking down the science of 1492, all of these things are talked about in the movie. And it's through this information that we will, we will start to unveil most of which was intended to be hidden. So there's a lot of truth in this movie. And, and in what we wanted to do is after the movie had came out and we've aired, we wanted to release all of the facts in a book so every American can have this information. So, you know, I think it's, it's, it's of the utmost important that people support the project, that you go to moretv.com, you, you know, you reserve your tickets, you, you buy the DVD, you make sure that you are, are there to get this information because um, as we say, you know, eventually with a lie, you've told a lie so long that now what's happening is the truth is catching up and people are starting to wake up and really come into their knowledge. But what many people have to understand is the lies that have been portrayed on these founding fathers is what has caused the um, a lot of the myth to, to go on. It, it's what's caused it's the very lies that have been been portrayed on them. Number one is people seem to get offended when they find out that the founding fathers were not practicing Christianity. You know, we 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 perceive ourselves to be a Christian nation which couldn't be further from the truth. And when you really learn the true history of these founding fathers, it's not so much that they were against Christianity, which they were not. They were not against Christianity. They were unfolding into a universal truth and concept. They were practicing something that the masses of the population of the people were not given in that time. And this is what created that separation. There are certain codes that you get when you study more science and there are certain keys that will lead you to unfold. When it talks about uh, the father of the universe or the great God or that there is only one creator and uh, the biblical sense we say most high, you know, in more science these things are talked about as the father of the universe. In masonry, the father of the universe is the equivalent to the architect. When someone is saying the great architect, they're talking about the father of the universe. So there were codes. So based on their codes, the way they stood, secret handshakes, we knew exactly what they were practicing and what they were carrying out. And these things have been hidden from the people because you have to understand secrecy is power. There's power and secrecy. There's an old saying that in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So as long as I hold the information and the knowledge, then I control the power. And I give the majority of the Americans whatever, you know, information that I want to give them, but I hold the true power. And that's the problem that we're having. You know, you have people who are waking up and figuring out the founding fathers, you know, had Qurans and, you know, and it's offending them because they don't understand why. And this information has been screwed away from them or are, are, are kind of just placed in, in a realm of abstract. So the movie sheds light on all of these different things. And it is the position of Moors and, and people who are seeking uh, love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. We know that the only way that we're all going to what we call when the lion lays down with the lamb is through love. Love is the greatest power in the universe. And if we can all come into this knowledge and this information, we'll grow with that information and become the greatest nation that we were intended to be. But we haven't been able to do that because of this lie that has built America. 
okay and it was on the uh and it's it is through the own found the founding father's own words that this truth is unveiled some people have miscued information into myths you have to understand that so when you watch movies like the national treasury and you get these movies with you know Nicolas Cage and he's going on his treasure hunts and these great secrets and these Masonic things that just kind of take you further away from the truth. You have to understand Disney was a 33rd degree uh, Freemason, Western Freemason. So you understand that these things are hidden from the general public and are hidden with the sole purpose of if we tell the truth, then the lie can exist. And if the lie can exist, then what are we to do? It is through their own fears that they have kept this lie going. And they don't understand that is that is what's actually preventing the, the world, the people from moving forward. So it's only through, through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice that we can ever hope to move forward as a nation of people by righting the wrongs that have been done to the indigenous people or to the uh, people in general all over the world. So we have to get back to practicing these the application of that and i think that's a lot of that is where the freedom fighters derive their strength from the freedom fighters represent many nations from all over the world and um you know them coming together to expose and, and, and present and put put the put the information out there is what has made them you know who they are in essence so the movie is going to be very impactful. The movie is going to give people a different perspective. It's going to shed light on a lot of things that have not been talked about in the general public. And it's going to raise the eyebrow on a lot of questions. One of the questions that's outlined in the movie is, what is America? This is a question that goes unanswered so many times. And this is a question that Rue has to solve in order to get to one of her next steps. So you have to identify, ask these questions. Intelligent people ask intelligent questions. And then this, this, the slavery, the myth of slavery has largely been debunked in the movie. And I, I don't think it, it could have been a better time for that. You know, you have to understand that um, America and America at its founding never had a navy. There were no ships sailing to Africa, bringing millions of people over here. So if, if that never took place, then why do we get the, the myths that are taught in schools that, you know, you come from slave ships and slavery? Who has done that? Who has put that here? One of the things that they do is they re release historical information in the movies to completely debunk this. That there was a man named Abu Bakari, that, you know, the second of Mali, and there were people traveling here hundreds of thousands of years before Columbus. So. The idea that, you know, there was anyone bringing anyone here is not to say that slavery didn't happen. It didn't happen in the way that is projected to the masses of people when you get these movies like Roots and then all of these different things. So when we talk about the rebirth of a nation, we know that the rebirth of a nation started in 1886, okay, in North Carolina. <laughs> so these are the things that we are, we are clear on. Um, and I, I just the I guess another thing that people have to understand when they watch the film is because it's it's rooted in so much entertainment, you know, it may go past their head that what was talked about was not true. And, you, you know, I want people to go back and do their research. Don't take our information. Go back and research these things for yourselves and you will find out exactly what took place in Philadelphia, okay? And Philadelphia is where the start of these things have their uprising, I'll say. So without going too much in depth into the movie. But um, it's been amazing um, to be here with you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to the hour special for the making of George Washington and the secret of the cherry tree. We hope you enjoyed it and you have to get out there and spread the word about the film, the project. Tell your friends, family, co-workers, go to moretv.com right now, reserve your tickets, make a donation. Um, you know, some people say, hey, well, you know, I can't do this. Well, hey, what can you do? Go and make a donation, support the project in order to create these million dollar um, type, you know, ticket sales. We have to be able to, um, 
Number one, get the movie in enough theaters and um, we're working with that, but we have to have the marketing dollars to support that. So we need people to get involved with the film. So whether you contribute five or $10, um, on a monthly basis that will help us project and get the movie further out there to wake people up in the masses and get people to understand this great secret okay and get them to understand the truth and there's a lot of people out there who want you to believe that it's all a myth which is not truth it can be any further from the truth because it's only myth when you take it out of the realm of truth when you place it in a realm of truth in their own words, they say that this is a secret, that these things were hidden from the American people. So we want to find out what that is, and we present that information. So again, thank you guys for supporting the movie and the project. If you're watching, make sure you go online to moretv.com. Make sure you download the More TV app on Google Play. It will be coming soon in 2017 to all iPhone users. Make sure you guys stay connected, make a donation, support the movie, buy your DVD and tickets now. Get them early so you can get in and get locked in and make sure that you know you go out and you support, become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. And that's what we want to do with the project. We want to get back to uplifting fallen humanity and putting the truth back on the record for the world to see. With that, I came at you in love and I leave you in peace. Peace and love, family. Hmm. Thank you for staying tuned. This has been the behind the scenes look of the making of George Washington and the secret of the cherry tree. On behalf of More TV, my name is Bill Cox, and please stay tuned and on the lookout for the movie when it comes out. It's George Washington and the secret of the cherry tree. Welcome to the Spark here on More TV. I'm your host Ingrid Blanos. Gracias a todos y bienvenidos aquí en More TV. Soy su presentadora Ingrid Blanos. And More TV is kicking off on AT&T Uverse and Comcast internationally in Europe, Africa, India, and here in the United States. And More TV is dedicated to spreading love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But here in the Spark, we're dedicated to you guys. You, the viewers, get to send in all the topics and discussion questions that you guys want to talk about. So America, are you ready to spark a thought?